almost. <laughs> Hi, everybody. I'm here. My name is Ramonda Young, and we're with Mahogany Books. And I'm excited to be here with this gentleman this evening, Mr. Mark Lamont Hill. I'm excited to be here. <laughs> you're excited? I'm excited that you're here, too, yeah. in Baltimore. We get to be in Baltimore, and I get to support black bookstores. Absolutely. Speaking of, first question I would like to ask you, why do black books matter to you? Black books matter because they're, they are our window into understanding who we are, mm -hmm. where we come from, why we're here. You know, there was a time when quote unquote black books were the only books we could access. True. You know, when David Walker wrote his appeal, well, we didn't have no other options. We wrote, we snuck and read that. Very true. You know, our slave narratives were our way of offering our stories and our witness into the world. Mm -hmm. You know, we were able to craft fiction and nonfiction. We were able to write poems. We were able to write elegies. We were able to do all sorts of work mm -hmm. to make our lives and our stories part of the American experience and part of the human experience. You know, we wrote ourselves into existence. And so black books are so important. They saved my life. They changed my life. Mm. I wouldn't be here if not for black books. I also wouldn't be here if not for black bookstores. Absolutely. So why are black bookstores important and just black businesses in general? Why? It ain't nothing like a black bookstore, first true. of all. True. Very true. It ain't, it ain't like walking <laughs> into Barnes & Noble. I don't care if they got the same book. When you walk in a black bookstore, you're going to get an experience of culture. Mm -hmm. You're going to have an experience of community, and an experience of solidarity. You come in for one black book and you look on the shelf and there's a whole bunch of other stuff that you didn't even know existed, a whole other tradition of, of learning that you didn't know existed that now you can find and you can access. And so it opens up a whole sort of, uh, a whole other world of, mm -hmm. of ideas that you wouldn't know. You know, I grew up reading third world press books. And oh, reading, what you know about that? Oh man, I know, you know. You don't know about that. You know, not only did I love third world press books, when I wrote my book with Mumia, I donated that book. I wrote that book and put it on third world press and donated it to third world press wow. because I wanted to show, and Mumia wanted to show that we believed in the tradition. So support black bookstores because they are alive and while you know, the, the current moment is swallowing up everybody's independent bookstore, everybody's sure. bookstore. It's important to keep our traditions alive, and we can't keep our traditions alive if we don't keep black bookstores alive. And not just black bookstores, all black businesses. Sure. We have to support each other, we have to invest in each other, we have to care for each other, and if we do that, we're gonna be all right. We will, absolutely. But people need to know that. That's right. Because if you look in our communities right now, there's not that many black bookstores. There used to be. Yeah. But if you go to our communities, they're not there. So people need to, when they are in the community, to support, support them. them. And Even just, if you gotta pay 50 cents more for the book, hey. a dollar more for the book. You paying for the love, you paying for the support, you paying for the tradition. It's worth it. Yeah, and you paying to bring these type of experiences into our communities. That's right. Because I ain't doing this at no Barnes and Noble. <laughs> I ain't doing this at no other chain bookstore. I ain't going in the Walmart book section. Uh, I'm only doing this with Mahogany Books. I'm only right. doing this with a black bookstore. I love We it. love y'all. So we support y'all. Y'all support us. We appreciate you. Thank you so much. All right. Thank you, everybody. Again, it's Ramonda with Mahogany Books with the one and only Mr. Mark Lamont Hill. Take care.